Hello friends, this video on PBLOCK part 61 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next question is why it is difficult to study the chemistry of radon? Again, the radon is a radioactive element and is a very short half-life. Very short half-life. And the half-life is not even 3.82 days. Since it is radioactive and very short half-life, it is very difficult to study radon. The next is how these fluorides are obtained. They explain this actually. You take xenon and fluorine based on different condition, you will get different output. For example, you have 1 is to 2 mixture ratio, 1 is to 2, and you have 673 Kelvin temperature and 1 bar pressure, you get XEF. Okay, now you have 1 is to 5 mixture, xenon and fluorine, you have 873 Kelvin temperature at 7 bar pressure, you get XEF4, that is xenon tetrafluoride. You have 1 is to 20 mixture of xenon and fluorine, you have 573 Kelvin temperature and high pressure of 60 to 70 bar, you get XEF6, that is xenon hexafluoride. This is xenon difluoride, xenon tetrafluoride, xenon hexafluoride. So depending on various conditions, but the same output will give you different fluorides or xenon. The next is with what neutral molecule ClO minus is isoelectronic? See isoelectronic means same number of electrons, ClO minus. So O minus is what? You can replace O minus with fluorine because you add electron to oxygen, you get fluorine. I mean you don't need fluorine but the number of electrons is same. Okay, so actually you can replace ClO minus with ClF. Pretty easy. Why? Because you are talking about a neutral molecule. See, you can easily replace uh, ClO minus with uh, ClN minus 2. Right? Because N minus 2 will also have same number of electron as O minus 1 and or F. Okay. But if you want a neutral molecule, so we won't take this. So we'll take this ClF. Now the question is, is that molecular Lewis base? So ClF actually is a Lewis base, yes. Why? Because it accepts electron to form ClF3. So from fluorine it will take electron and form ClF3. So yes, it is a Lewis base. The next question is, how is XeO3, that is xenon trioxide, and XeOF4, that is xenon oxyfluoride, is prepared? So we have seen this actually, xenon um, trioxide, you take XeF4 and you react with water. You get xenon, xenon trioxide, my HF and oxygen. You can write the balance reaction. This is 24 and this is 3. Yes. And for, for XeF4, what you can do is we do, we do a partial hydrolysis with water. You get XeF4. Okay, and 2HF. Or you can also prepare uh, XeOF4 by reacting uh, XeF6 with silicon dioxide. You get XeOF4 and my silicon tetrafluoride. Okay. The next question is which one of these doesn't exist? We have seen XeOF4 yes exist. Neon, neon, we have seen it won't form any compound with any it won't form any compound because it is actually noble. It is not reactive. XeF2 we have seen, XeF6 also we have seen. So NeF2 is the only one which does not exist. Give the formula and describe the structure of noble gases which are isostructural with ICl4- IBr2- and BrO3-. So let's start with ICl4-. Let's take I 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and chlorine, 4 chlorine, right? 1, 2, 3, 4 chlorine and there's a minus charge actually. So you put one more uh, electron here and there's a minus charge. So with this if you see there are two lone pairs and four bond pair. Two lone pair, four bond pair. Right? So it is 
6 that is sp3d2 hybridization and as per Vesper theory it is square planar and we have seen that xef4 actually is also my square planar and sp3d2 hybridized so I can say that xef4 is my noble gas species which is isostructured with icl4 minus See, they have asked this question because the noble gas typically doesn't form a lot of compounds, only five or three or four compounds. So, given with this uh, square planar and sp3d2, you should know that xef4 has this structure. And that's why I told that, please remember the structure of these noble gas compounds. The next one is ibr2 minus, you could take i, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 electrons, br2 minus 1 bromine, and you can take 1 more bromine. And there is a minus, let's put an electron here, there's a negative charge. So there's one lone pair, two lone pair, three lone pair. So it is what? Three lone pair plus two bond pair. There is sp3d. So as per my Vesper theory, it is linear. So linear is my xef2. We have seen that shape of xef2 is linear. Okay. The next is BrO3 minus uh, bromine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and O minus, so let's see this, one oxygen, two oxygen, one oxygen with a negative charge put here, and there's a lone pair. So one, one lone pair plus three bond pair, this pyramidal. So pyramidal is what? XeO3, we have seen that. XeO3 is pyramidal. XeO3 could draw the structure, this is Okay, so with our knowledge, we can just tell that this is XeO3, which is having the same structure, isostructural means same structure. Okay, let's take the last numerical. Why do noble gas have comparatively low atomic size? We have discussed this. One is these uh, noble gas has only Van der Waal radius. They don't have. Uh, covalent or ionic radius because they are not reactive and this Wall radius is pretty big and the second is they have the valence orbital is filled so valence orbital is filled uh, so since the valence orbital is filled so there is inter electronic repulsion since there is an inter electronic repulsion the size is more okay Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.